I love poetry. It's so amazing. It can mean one thing to one person, something else to another. It can mean one thing to you at one point of time and it can mean something else at another point of time. So join me as we explore some French poets and writers over the next few videos. In this video, I'm going to talk about a very famous poet of the 18th century, Guillotine at the age of 31, a poet who had to get his poems out to the public by smuggling them out in laundry baskets, André Marie Chénier. Chénier was born in Constantinople, Turkey, to a French father and a mother of Franco-Greek origin. Fully versed in Greek legends, you can sometimes see a touch of Greek mythology in his poetry. During his lifetime, only two poems were published and the rest published posthumously 25 years later by when he was a model for romantic poets. In 1794, during the French Revolution, Chenier was mistaken for someone else and arrested and imprisoned for 141 days at Saint-Lazare prison before he was guillotined. Most of his poems were written during imprisonment and his poems are especially touching because they not only take justice and liberty as themes but reflect the pain of a young life that knows it's going to be snuffed out soon. The Iamba, written shortly before his death, are a moving testimonial of human spirit in the face of persecution. If you look at his last poem, La Jeune Captive, the young captive written in prison just before he was taken to the guillotine, the poem is written in the voice of a young girl begging death to spare her and give her a chance at love and life. The pain Chenier goes through at the age of 31 in prison, waiting for the day his name would be called, for his turn at the guillotine is reflected through this young girl. The young captive refers to La Duchesse de Fleury, who he met in prison. He handed the poem to her on the way to the guillotine. His best verses were written with her as his muse, and his poetry was sent out in dirty linen baskets. Named enemy of the people, Robespierre sentenced him to death and he was guillotined in 1794. He stepped onto the cart and went to the guillotine reciting verses. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any of Chenier's poems that you would like me to elaborate, do let me know. Merci.